Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a device. Mostly, I think this issue is mostly on iOS 9 devices. Like an iPod Touch 5th generation, iPad Mini 1, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPhone 4S, something like that. So the problem is that sometimes when you have your device, the notification center will get stuck in the middle of the screen, which is a problem. I This happened to me before. I can't duplicate it right now, but this did happen, and it basically makes anything below the notification center unusable besides Siri. So the easiest way to fix this is to press on home and power and that'll restart your device but what if you're like me and your home button's broken then you can't do that and you just think why can't you just power it off well it's blocked by the notification center which is a problem so what you need to do is you need to go to 3u.com and download 3u tools I think you also need to have iTunes. And with that, after you finish all the downloading it and stuff, you come to this screen. So basically, uh, if you haven't done so, trust your, you also are going to need to trust your iOS device with the computer you're using. And you should have iTunes. Yeah, I think I already said this, but yeah, you need iTunes for this too. Because I tried it on my computer, so it didn't have iTunes, and it didn't work. So yeah, after you do that, you're going to need to trust your device with your computer. So then, all you need is a lightning cable, or whatever your device uses, or you can get me, whatever, just the charging cable. So just plug it into your device, and then plug this into the computer. And then it'll say connecting iDevice. And if you haven't done so already, I don't think this will work. But if you're like me and you've already trusted the device with your computer, then it should work just fine. So yeah. Then what you're going to do is when you get here, you can actually do tons of stuff with this. You can see your battery life, which is your battery health actually, which is really cool. All your info. Which is, this is a great tool. You can use this for jailbreaking, flashing different OS, see all kinds of stuff, even what, what date of manga, what date of manufacture was, which is also pretty cool. Oh, and you also, another thing I want to point out is you can use AirPlay with it for free. You don't have to download AirServer. It is a great tool and I'm glad I found it. So now what you need to do is go down below the picture of your device and click on Reboot. And this will reboot your device. So go ahead and click reboot. Then click reboot. Then on your device, it will reboot. You'll see it disconnects. Then on the device, it restarts. So yes, it's that easy. It works on anything. And I'll just show you it on a few other things like for example, I've got actually lots of devices with this. So I, now what I'm going to show is this iPad, which is iPad 1. Yeah, it's the original iPad. Of course, now. So you can't see this. This is a different design for this year, so I had to go up here again. Got my 30 pin connector, so gotta connect up here. I guess it's still restarting. It takes a while, but it'll do it. 
Don't worry. And you know, since it then restarts perfectly. So yeah, yeah, this works on this tool works on like anything. So yeah, if you see like my iPad here is running on OS 5. So yes, you can come over here and plug it in. Get that connector. And you plug it into your computer. And it'll come up. And also this I'm pretty sure this only works with Windows. I'm not sure what to do if you only have a Mac. So yeah, that could be a problem. So yeah, yes, you will see everything here, like 5.1.1, 2010. It shows you everything here, which is cool. So yeah, this also works here. Same circle. Then you'll see that good old fashioned Apple logo. Remember this, guys. Remember this. Yes, I do. So, yes, this brings you to it. And yes, it is with iOS 12. I will show you. But I'm using my iOS device to record this, my iPad 6th generation 2018 model. So yes, I hope this helped you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about this, please comment them. And I will try to answer them. I will leave a link to 3D.com in the description. If you just want to go read it for yourself, it's simply 3u.com. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Before I go, I am going to show you it on a iOS 12 device, which is my iPad. So, yeah, you just gotta plug it in. And it will detect it. See how it's running. 12.1.4. Start focus and recording this on my iPod 5. So, yeah, if you just click on reboot, put that my cursor, there it is. This will work here too. So, yeah, it's simple. It works on everything. And it's very nice. So, download this, it'll save you a device and some time. Because then you don't have to let your battery drain. Which I tried to let mine drain for like three and a half days and it still didn't drain. So yeah, it's that easy. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.